Hey, uh, out in the garage again, working on the MG. Uh, this time I am trying to increase the brightness of my brake lights. Uh, MGs are known for bad wiring, any British car is. Uh, they're known as Lucas wiring, that's who invented the wiring. And they use these little barrel connectors. Um, and he's known as the Lord of Darkness. Because many times you're left in the dark. Um, and while doing this, what I'm doing, I'm using this trailer device to I'm acting like my turn signal is on a trailer and I'm converting it so that it's not only a turn turn signal but also a brake light giving me two brake lights on it both sides hooked it up it's not working on the brake side so what do you do you check for voltage pull out your multimeter and you check for voltage so I have it off and I'm checking for voltage and I'm getting my 12 volts why is it not working a couple weeks ago on uh, Facebook, uh, there was a post about uh, do you need to test with the load on or not. People, of course, had different varied uh, reasons for what what they believed in, and many of them said that no, you just have to check that you got when you if you got voltage, you got voltage. Well, which I do, I have voltage. Uh, but when I turn it on, when I turn the brake lights on, when I connect it back up, it's not working. And right now, if you watch the meter. If I put this on, you'll notice I have a 3 volt uh, voltage drop. And that drops that below what this device needs to turn on. Um, if you're just pulling a connector off and checking for voltage, you're just checking to see if there, you have the potential there. You're not testing to see whether the wire is good and that when you're drawing current, it's going to give you the proper voltage. And what's happening here? is I don't have an issue back here with my brake lights. I have it somewhere upstream uh, between here and the battery that has a bad connection. And when I, once I draw that current over that, that connection has a resistance to it and I'm getting a voltage drop across that connection. So this is a, shows you that you do need to test with the load on. Most times you can, you can get away with just pulling the connector off, testing to see if you have voltage, but that's not a ultimate test. So if you test, check to see if you have voltage, but it still doesn't work, check it with the device on and see if you're getting a voltage drop. What I have to do now is go upstream, take all these little barrel connectors because they're open-ended, and this, if you crimping your wires on a car, use heat shrink around that connector because that's why these go bad is that they're ex exposed to the elements. You have, we have to go and clean these. I usually just buy a whole bunch of these because they're inexpensive. And when you hook everything up, use dielectric grease. Clean your little barrel connector. Fill this up with grease. Stick it together. Do that and you can defeat the Lord of Darkness, Mr. Lucas, and have a reliable British car. See you guys next time.